ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज दैट वी हैव टू प्रूव एंट्रोपी इज ए स्टेट फंक्शन टू प्रूव दिस लेट अस कंसिडर ए साइक्लिक प्रोसेस इन विच ए इज बीइंग कन्वर्टेड इनटू बी एंड बी इज बीइंग कन्वर्टेड बैक इनटू ए देयरफॉर सिस्टम इज चेंजिंग फ्रॉम ए टू वी वाया पाथ वन एंड फ्रॉम बी टू ए वाया पाथ टू as in our previous discussion we have discussed that for a carnot cycle entropy change that is q upon t is always zero so what we will do we will divide this entire process into small steps of carnot cycles so what we are doing here we are dividing this whole a to b path into small number of carnot cycles each square or each area we are drawing represents a carnot cycle okay so all these blue boxes these boxes represent a carnot cycle so as we know that for a carnot cycle we can write q upon t is zero that means change of heat with respect to temperature over whole the process is zero if we are considering a small change if we are considering a small change then we can write simply dq upon t is equal to 0 now since our carnot cycle is a cyclic process there is no secret in this so it's a cyclic process that means we are going from a to b then we are coming back from b to a then we can write the above equation as from a to b dq by t plus coming back from b to a dq by t this should be zero as from this equation therefore these two quantities must be equal and opposite to each other that means if we go from a to b the heat change with respect to temperature should be equal but in opposite of sign to the heat change with respect to temperature when we go from b to a now since it is a reversible process carnot cycle represents a reversible process this a to b this b to a that means this is independent of path followed either we grow from a to b or we go from b to a in both the cases the quantity is same although the sign is opposite because the direction is also opposite so in this case we can say that entropy is equal to q reversible by t where and it is a state function that means it depends upon a and it depends upon b it does not depend upon the path whether we are going from a to b or whether we are going from b to a in both the cases it is remaining the same therefore this is a state function by definition state function is a function whose value depends upon the state of the system it does not depend upon the manner in which the state is reached therefore we can say for a reversible process delta s that means entropy change is always zero why it is zero because the value is same in both cases also 
in thermodynamics we have system and we have surroundings so in if delta s is zero that means if delta s of system and delta s of surrounding that means entropy of the system and entropy of the surrounding it remains zero therefore there is no change in entropy of the system and there is no change in entropy of the surrounding when the process is a reversible one all right now let's move on to another topic that is entropy change in an irreversible process and it is an important topic for your exam as well so we have discussed that by definition entropy of the system is how much amount of heat is exchanged at uh, how much temperature so as we know that if system is gaining anything the surrounding must be losing that means if entropy of the system is q reversible by t then entropy change of surrounding should be minus q reversible by t because both are changing with respect to each other now total change in entropy total change in entropy is we need to add both these terms that means delta s of system plus delta s for surroundings it should be q reversible by t minus q here is irreversible by t now again we are discussing why we are writing it as irreversible because we are assuming that in case of surrounding the amount of heat lost or entropy change is irreversible because it is occurring in one single step okay so that means what we get delta system delta surrounding it becomes q reversible by t minus q irreversible by t now mark it as equation one now we have two types of processes one is reversible other is irreversible now work done work done for a reversible process is always greater than work done by a reversible process how is that or why is that this is so because in case of reversible process it is occurring in a large number of small steps which are efficient so the energy loss is much less as compared to the irreversible process therefore work done for reversible is always greater than work done for a reversible process now by using the definition of internal energy we can write delta u is equal to q reversible minus work done this is your first law of thermodynamics similarly we are writing delta u for irreversible process because we need for both so this is your equation number three this is equation number four now what is significance of this equation that this delta u it is a state function whether system is going through a reversible change or it is going through a irreversible change the value of delta u or internal energy change 
will always be same because it is a state function. Thus, comparing these two equations, we can write Q reversible minus W reversible, Q irreversible minus W irreversible. These both should be equal. But now, what this equation says? It says work done in reversible is greater than work done in irreversible. That means this must be greater than this. Therefore, Q reversible must be greater than Q irreversible. Okay. So, if we divide both by T, it should be a larger number also. Then, we can write Q reversible by T minus Q irreversible by T. This should be greater than 0 because this is a bigger number. Now, by definition or by equation 1, this is our delta S for system and this is delta S for our surroundings. So, it is greater than 0. Therefore, for a irreversible process, the entropy of the system and entropy of the surrounding, it always increases in case of irreversible process. Okay, so from this, we can write this equation 5 as delta S system plus delta S surrounding is 0 if process is reversible or it is greater than 0 if process is irreversible. So, if we combine both these forms, you can write it as like this. Equal to represents reversible and greater than represents irreversible. So, we will discuss next topic in the next video.